Goodbye, Lilium. Hello, Archer. Hey up, everyone. Welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. I'm Vaz. Do you know what time it is? It's time to start talking EV tolls. We've got some big news from the week just gone. Archer secures Lilium's patent portfolio in strategic power play. I covered this event live on our channel uh, right on the day when it came out. But now we have more deep, deep uh, dive into it and we have more facts uncovering as well. So bear with me, stand by and you will get the ins and outs of this massive shift on the eVTOL market. market. In, a pivotal in a pivotal development for the eVTOL industry, Archer Aviation has acquired the entire patent portfolio of bankrupt competitor Lilium for about $21 million. The move follows a competitive bidding process and gives Archer more than 300 advanced patents or patents, depending on where you are from. Many focused on ducted fan, proportion and high voltage electric systems. The acquisition solidifies Archer's position as a technological and strategic leader in urban air mobility, while effectively, effectively ending any remaining hopes for a Lilium revival. This is the very aircraft, this is the very Lilium aircraft. What you are looking at here is our very own newsletter. The link will be under the video. This is the Saturday edition and I focus on, and this is made, made by me and I do uh, deep dives and analysis on the e on the EV toll market, and this is one of these. So if you like this, definitely consider subscription to the newsletter. Uh, first seven day, uh, first seven days are for free. There's a seven day trial, and you will get one every every day, every morning for your pre market forecast. Uh, you will get five top topics. You will get what to look out for the day. You will get deep dives analysis made by Sensei every day couple of couple of hours before the market open i do one for saturday and i'm giving you all the news and analysis as well and this is one of the analysis you can see in the newsletter so what archer acquired lilium's patent portfolio now owned by now owned by archer includes some of the most advanced intellectual property in the ev toll space these patents cover ducted fan proportion system high voltage electric power architectures, battery management systems, flight control software and avionics, and aerody aerodynamic designs and composite structures. This level of information you won't find on any bro channel. This is a proper investment deep dive information. So hopefully you will stand by with me and listen to more of the story unveiling. The Lilium Jet, a five to seven seat electric aircraft using 30 embedded ducted fans was the basis for many of these innovations. Archer now controls over a thousand patents globally, creating a significant intellectual property barrier to entry for competitors. CEO Adam Goldstein called Lilium's work technologi technologically ahead of its time and emphasized that the newly acquired technology will help advance Archer's future aircraft programs beyond its current midnight model. So Archer are working on a new aircraft. This is the bottom line. Competitive bidding, and now this is something you probably won't hear on any other channel. Competitive bidding, Archer versus Joby and AAMG. The acquisition wasn't uncontested. Archer had to outbid several interested parties. Joby Aviation, obviously. Archer's primary US competitor confirmed it had also submitted a bid. But also included was Ambitious Air Mobility Group, a Dutch-based investment consortium backed by European, Middle Eastern and Asian capital offered a 30 million euros bid to acquire all Lilium assets, not just the patents. So they were going to buy the whole Lilium and they were going to restart their operations. AAMG aimed to fully revive Lilium, retain staff and restart production. After losing the bid, AAMG publicly criticized this, the decision, stating that without the patents, Lilium's revival is likely defunct. Despite these efforts, the insolvency administrator awarded the patents to Archer concluding their offer was the most viable in the court-supervised process. 
So there we go. Lilium is now officially dead. We can't revive Lilium and it's becoming Archer, part, part of Archer Aviation. What this means for Archer? Well, we already got some hints. This acquisition delivers several strategic advantages. It's expanded product horizons. Lilium's ducted fun and high powered propulsion tech could enable new types of EV tolls. Light sports aircraft. And we know that uh, the FAA have announced a new mosaic scheme which uh, reforms the regulations for the light aircraft, light sports aircraft. And this is why Archer probably jumped in and they'll be developing an electric powered, probably two seater aircraft, which will be falling into this category, the light sports aircraft. And also we have long range electric intercity models. It could be another venture. They could be developing a new hybrid aircraft for the intercity uh, transport. Intellectual property leverage. With over a thousand patents, patent assets, Archer now has stronger legal protection against infringement, licensing opportunities across aerospace and defense, enhanced influence in regulatory and standard setting bodies, and their market position by absorbing Lilium technology and blocking rivals like Joby and AAMG, Archer strength strengthens its claim as the leading EV toll, uh, leading US-based EV toll company and signals long-term stability to investors. Goldstein noted that Europe couldn't figure this out, but that Lilium's best engineers and ideas would now thrive at Archer. As more to look at, at this Lilium Archer story. A brief look back, Lilium's rise and fall. Lilium was founded 2015 in Munich. Lilium was once amongst the most promising eVTOL startups. It achieved several major milestones. They raised over $1.5 billion in investments from Tencent, Atomico and others. They went public via SPAC in 2021 as a Quell Acquisition Corporation and they signed a 100 aircraft deal with Saudia in 2024. But the company's trajectory stalled due to repeated flight test delays, high cash burn with limited progress towards certification and failed actually to 50 million euros uh, government, uh, bav uh, government backups that didn't come through. One from the Bavarian government and one from the Department of Transport of Germany. Lilium filed for insolvency in October 2024, then briefly revived the early 2025 with a 200 million pledge from the Mobile Uplift Corporation. Consortium of investors were trying to whip up, whip, uh, whip, uh, whip around 200 million dollars, trying to revive the operations. Didn't go through. So Lilium efficiently went bankrupt not only once, but twice. Despite rehiring hundreds of staff, the rescue collapsed after key investors failed to deliver funds. A second insolvency filing followed in Feb 2025, leading to the company's permanent shutdown. The IP, the intellectual property sale to Archer effect effectively dismantles, dismantled Lilium's core value. Remaining assets, facilities and test vehicles were liquidated separately. So what happened to Lilium's staff as well? There's more to this story, which nobody tells you about as a part of this new acquisition. The collapse of Lilium triggered a wave of talent migration across the aerospace industry. Arch opened a new engineering hub in Munich and hired numerous former Lilium engineers. So basically the whole Lilium engineering office was just relocated to a different, uh, different premises. Goldstein welcomed these hires, praising their experience in propulsion and aircraft integration. So this is one of the reasons why Archer were probably following this through and they were locking, they locked in this acquisition. Other destinations for ex Lilium staff include Joby Aviation, Volocopter, I also missed Vertical Aerospace, uh, Airbus and other advanced air mobility startups and suppliers. Though the company failed, its people continue to contribute to the future of electric aviation and the new banners. The final takeaway is Archer's acquisition 
isn't just about intellectual property. It's about consolidating leadership in the race toward commercial eVTOL deployment. With Lilium's pioneering work now in its arsenal, Archer not only strengthens its technical capabilities, but prevents rivals from tapping into, the, into one of the industry's most advanced innovation pools. This could prove to be the defining move that separates the winners from the grounded, the next generation aviation. So far, for now, a very little short-term implication, but long-term, this can unlock new opportunities for Archer. Very likely, they will not be redesigning their new current aircraft Archer Midnight. But what can happen? We can see some of the insights, like power control, maybe some, some avionic systems could be implemented into this very aircraft. However, this is opening new horizons for, uh, for Archer. They can start designing new aircraft, new ultralight aircraft, light sports aircraft category compliant. They can start designing new intracity juggernaut. And also they can start using these patents in Archer Defense subsidiary. So what do you think of this? Let me know under the video, let me know in the chat. And if you like this content, hit the like button and subscribe because we are giving you eVTOL market updates daily. That's it from me. Here is a video related to Archer and here is the eVTOL Archer playlist. That's it from me. Take care of yourselves and each other.